Welcome back. The youth e-cigarette epidemic remains a serious public health threat. In 2022, over 2.5 million middle and high school students reported e-cigarette use, a higher number than in 2021. So what can be done to address this? Joining us to discuss the youth vaping epidemic and an innovative free digital curriculum are Amy Taylor, she's the Chief of Community Engagement at Truth Initiative, and Sabrina Taylor, Career Technical Higher Education Investigations Teacher. Welcome to the show. So, Amy, let's start with you. How did we get to the point where we're using terms like epidemic? And what do we need to do to sort of address this, this public health risk? Thank you so much for having us to talk about this important issue. You said it at the beginning, more than 2.5 million high school and middle school students are vaping. What's of great concern to us is of those high school students who are vaping, nearly half are doing so on a near daily basis. Mm. They've become addicted to this product and it's a big concern. Uh, so, Sabrina, what are you seeing in terms of the students that, that you interact with on a regular basis? Um, again, thank you for having us. Um, I am a middle school teacher, Arlington Independent School District. And what I've noticed is that um, it impacts our students negatively as far as mentally, socially, and academically. Um, the reason why I say academically is because if our students are not in the classroom, because they're constantly um, trying to find ways to leave the classroom to go vape. If they're not in the classroom, they can't learn. Mm. And also it's affecting them socially and mentally because they're withdrawn or they're waiting for the next time that they can go and vape. So it's, having, it's a profound negative impact on our students. So Amy, what resources are available now in, in order to combat this? Well, we know that when young people have the facts, they're going to feel empowered and they're going to make informed decisions, which is why we are so excited to provide a free digital curriculum called Vaping Know the Truth. And it's available to every school district across the country, it provides young people with information about the harmful effects of nicotine on their developing brain. It talks about how vaping can negatively impact their mental health. And for those young people who are vaping, we have a quit program called This Is Quitting, which they can access uh, through the curriculum. And, and Sabrina, you're actually using this curriculum. What are you seeing in terms of impact with your students? Yes, I am using this curriculum and I'm and I'm so grateful for Vaping Know the Truth by the Truth Initiative because what I've noticed is the students are having, you know, the peer-to-peer -peer conversations with each other and I hear amongst them as well as when they come and speak to me is that I didn't know that these e-cigarettes had more nicotine in it than actual cigarettes. Um, and they start noticing some of the signs that they're dealing with as far as, you know, being withdrawn from school or not in the classroom or mentally. So the, the curriculum has provided a positive impact on our students. It's empowering them. It's giving them the truth. It's giving them the information. Amy, Sabrina, thank you so much for being with us and, and filling us in on this. Thank you.